If you've just launched your brand new recruiting business and you're wondering, how am I going to get some clients, then stick with me here while I show you a tactic that you can put to work as soon as today. I'm Russell Leibowitz with Recruiting Me, where I help aspiring recruiters break free from corporate America and start their own recruiting and staffing agencies from the comfort of their kitchen. All right, so let's get to it. If you're just starting out, there are several ways that you can start marketing to get a new job order or to get a new client. So. We know about cold email, we know about automations, we know about cold calling, direct mail, all of the traditional ways of doing sales to get a really good recruiting client. But have you thought about candidate marketing and turning it into a client call? Let me give you an example. So today you can go on LinkedIn and you can do a Boolean search, a filter, maybe on Sales Navigator, even on your free LinkedIn account if you're on a tight budget right now, and start prospecting for directors of sales or finance, as an example and then start calling on these people. And you want to go into this call as if it's a candidate call, right? That you're trying to build a strong candidate pipeline, introduce yourself, build the relationship. Now, if that person on the phone that you're doing this candidate call with tells you, hey, look, I'm not looking for a job right now. I'm happy where I am. Don't give up. This is where you turn it into a marketing call because if they're manager, director, VP and above, there's a very good chance that they are stakeholders and involved in hiring processes and decision-making within their organization. So how do you do that the most effective way? How do you turn a candidate call into a solid marketing call? Here's one way not to do it. And this is the most common thing that I see with so many recruiters that are brand new and recruiting or just owning their recruiting company. And that is they ask a close ended question, a question that's going to result in a yes or a no. For example, have you ever used a staffing company to fill your role? Don't ask that question. So here's a better approach and a better way to turn this candidate call into a possible job search. So let's say this person is a director of sales that you're speaking with, just level set and say, hey, look, you've been so generous with your time. It's pretty clear that the job that I have for you is just not the right fit for you. And to be honest, I, I agree with you. I think you're way too high level for this. So before I let you go, I'm curious as a VP of sales at your current company, how do you find people when you need people? And look, they might come back with a response like, well, we use job boards. I just posted internally. I've got a good network on LinkedIn and that's where I go. And you know what, Russ, right now we're just not looking for anybody. And what I would say is, hey, Bob, I appreciate that. But a little humble brag right now. I've been at this for 24 plus years in recruiting and staffing, and I have built a world-class candidate pipeline of thousands of top producing sales executives that I've placed across the country and even internationally. Bob, I know that there are good salespeople on your team right now and not so good salespeople on your team. So Bob, I've placed a thousand of these sales executives at companies just like yours. And these are top tier A player. I call them sales athletes that are consistent revenue drivers month in and month out. Bob, I think it's safe to say that as the VP of sales at your company, you have the top tier salespeople on your team and maybe ones that aren't doing so great. And Bob, I know at some point you're going to be able to bring in some revenue drivers. So forget the opening line, forget what we talked about five minutes ago. Where would you need more revenue? So every candidate call, you can bring some value to it. Call these people out on not what their openings are right now, but really what their needs are, what their pain points are. And you have to bring that out with open-ended questions that gets them thinking. Thinking of things they normally would have never spoken to you about in the first two minutes of your phone call. So try this on your candidate calls today. And I assure you, you're going to flip some of these candidates into buying hiring managers and brand new clients to help build your sales pipeline consistently month over month. If you receive value from this video, please go ahead and smash the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel for much more content just like this that's gonna help you overcome objections and create sustainable client relationships over time.